So Ben was a lovely, lovely child, um, as I as I call him. Um, he came from a family of four, which was Ben was the youngest of two brothers. He had a brother Luke. Um, he also had a little niece called Layla, who's Luke's child. Um, ben loved life. Very popular young man. He in, just enjoyed socialising with his friends. Um, he had just turned 18 and was out there, you know, becoming a man, becoming an adult, and looking forward to that very much. So the 6th of December was when um, it was alerted that Ben went missing. He'd been to a number of bars and pubs. Um, his last bar that he entered was the Tappan Tin. He was there enjoying himself, dancing around, as we saw in the videos. Um, but he left alone. Um, he left alone that night and decided to, rather than get a taxi, he decided to walk home. And he walked home a slightly different route um, to what he normally would with his brother or his friends. Um, and as we know, he ended up on some pier. Um, his mum and dad raised the alarm in the morning as soon as they went into his room and he wasn't in bed. Um, ben was a creature of habit, so therefore they knew something was wrong. The police immediately took it seriously and that's when they began their search. It was horrific. We were out searching, you know, family, friends, colleagues, um, just desperate to find him and bring him back. The search and rescue teams were out um, you know, daily, they were out at night doing all different searches. There were so many services involved and, you know, we can't thank them enough for that. So we're supporting Kent Fire and Rescue with the campaign of Got Duck to Fell In um, because, again, it's raising that awareness, getting those campaigns out there. We don't want this happening to anyone else. Please, please, please talk to each other, look after each other. We all have that duty towards each other. So it is about staying safe. Enjoy life, but stay safe. If you go into the water when you're drunk, it is going to affect your reactions. You may be slower, you might not think as quickly. Let someone know where you're going. If you let them know where you're going, what time you're likely to be back, and then they know to raise the alarm if you're not back on time. If you are going to have to make your own way home, think about how you might do that. So is it a taxi? Are you going to get a lift with a friend? If you really have to walk, choose a route that's well lit and away from water. And finally, there's always someone that wanders off on a night out. Look after your friends, where are they? How are they getting home? Just look after each other.